In this video, I would like to show you how you could set up and in, uh, in this video, I can show you how to install DirectX 9 for PC Emulator or 86 box. You will need Windows 98 or Windows Millennium Edition or Windows XP to install DirectX 9 on your PC uh, emulator. Now, I would show you how you can get started. The first thing you want to do is to mount the Direct, uh, find DirectX 6 online. What you would have to do, I'm not going to explain that in full detail, but what you would have to do is to Google search for DirectX 9, which is the last version for Windows 98, and then you want to install it. And after that, you can go to DirectX 9, and then you want to go to DX Setup. Welcome to the setup for DirectX 9. I accept the agreement. However, not all new games that does require the later graphics cards to support DirectX 9 will work. However, you would need to probably wait for the new version of PC Emulator to come or any new updates on new graphics card added to PC Emulator before you could think about using DirectX 9. So I highly recommend that you use the later graphics cards in the 2000s for the PC emulator to be released if a new version was to come or new versions of 86 box was to grab support for it. So after that, click next, I accept the agreement, next, and it's initializing. And it's extracting the files now, copying files. So. It's searching for any updated DirectX runtime components and updating as necessary, as this could take a few minutes. And after that, you want to restart the emulator, click finish, and the emulator should restart. A few moments later. And then after that, you want to click on start, run, type DXDIAG, hit OK. And then do you want to allow DXDIAG to check if your drivers are, digi are digitally signed as logo by Microsoft Windows Hardware Quality? Click yes. And there you have it. You've now got DirectX 9 installed on the emulator. And you want to go to display and you can see where this was the system. Now this is the very last version but this is actually the last version of Windows 98 that got supported. And this is the latest and the last re-released version of Windows 98, which came out in December of 2006. After that, no new Windows 98 up driver DirectX was reissued after this or released because Windows 98 support had sadly ended 19 years ago, which was 2006. Okay, so... And the sound can you can always retain the sound blaster as AWE32 or sound blaster 16 for it. So there you go, guys. I hope you find this tutorial very very useful. See you again for another tutorial. Bye.